two, three, funk it. My darling, I love you, I love you. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela and today I'll be showing you a thrift haul. thrifting and thrifting is something that me and my boyfriend do a lot we just have so much fun I love taking my time there roaming around browsing through each category you just never know what you're gonna find on regular price items anymore just because why waste all that money there are three secondhand stores that i regularly go to they are value village good 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 uh, goodwill and salvation army out of all three of them value village is my favorite one there are three criteria that i look for when i thrift number one is the material i like to shop clothes that are made of 100 percent natural materials such as wool, silk, and cotton. The second criteria is the fit. I don't really stick to my size, which is a small. I like to go one size bigger. I like to go for that relaxed, comfortable, vintage look. And the third criteria is the price. I usually don't spend more than $20 because I'm broke. I got a total of seven items. Four of them are shoes and three of them are tops. The first item is this chunky white sneakers. Everyone on the internet has been wearing them. I've been wanting a pair of these for a really long time. I was originally going to purchase the Fila's Disruptor and I was planning to purchase them at full price too. I couldn't believe I found these. This is from a brand called Wishbone. These shoes are so comfortable and whether you love it or hate it, the dab sneaker is here to stay. These are going to be my everyday staple and I picture myself wearing it with a pair of jeans, long suit pants, and dresses in the summer. Next are these heels by Vince Camuto. It looks brand new. The stickers and everything is still there. These are in such good condition. I love the details of these shoes. These black leather straps and tiny studs make the black heels stand out even more. They are surprisingly very comfortable as well. This is the item that I got that was a little bit over my budget, $24.99. They're by Naturalizers. I have many pairs of Naturalizers. I even have a pair which I bought for work. They're my galley shoes. I really like this brand and it's really hard for me to find a high heel that is comfortable, stylish, and doesn't make me look like a grandma. This again looks brand new. The tag is still there and look at the heel. It's like in perfect condition. The material is suede and the lining is made of leather. I know this is gonna last me for spring, summer, and maybe fall. Save the best for last. I'm not even sure how to pronounce this. Manolo Blahnik. Made in Italy. Oops, the other way. Check this beauty out. I'm not even sure if these are real. I even speculated the heel and this padding over here. Wow, everything is just so well made. I don't think I'm gonna authenticate it or resell it because I actually don't have a designer shoe. This is my first time trying a lace up heel and to be honest, they're kind of a bitch to put on. They fit a little bit bigger on me and to be honest, they are not that comfortable. However, they are very sexy. Like they say, beauty's pain and I've just gotta put up with it. Okay, this shirt gives me granny vibes, but I find this embroidery very endearing to me because when I was younger, my mom or my grandma used to like stitch these things on my sweaters. 
The material is super soft. It's 100% cotton and made in Taiwan. This one isn't a size medium, but it fits more like a small. I just thought this would be a really cool spring outfit to celebrate flowers blooming. Next is this shirt that I picked up. The color is super flattering. I love it so, so much. It's the perfect transitional piece from my winter sweaters to more of a spring vibe. It's 100% cotton. It's good quality. I just need a shirt like this where I can dress up and dress down. The first look is super casual. I'm pairing it with a plain white tank top underneath. Then I throw on a pair of sneakers and jeans and I'm good to go. If you want to step up a notch, maybe you're meeting up with a friend or if you want to dress business casual, I paired it with these vegan leather trousers and a cute handbag to complete the look. This is a basic item that I got. It is just a plain white t-shirt. It is $6.99. Whenever I have nothing else to wear, I always default to basics. I grab either a black or white shirt, pair with a pair of jeans. Maybe if I'm feeling cute, wear some heels. You can't find this quality for this price anymore at your regular store. Here I am just layering it with a pair of jeans and a belt. I threw on this leather jacket that I thrifted before because it's still cold outside. If you like these type of videos, please hit the like button and I'll be sure to incorporate more of these videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! collect the coupons every time you donate you can also go online and then fill out a survey which you can save two dollars on your next purchase <laughs>